YouTube. Um, today you will see that I am wearing my crazy banana shirt and that is partly because it's awesome and partly because it fits into my video today. So my video today is what are 10 things you can do every day that will help boost your self-esteem or make you feel good about yourself at least for a moment. I deal with a lot of people and talk to a lot of people who feel really low about themselves and they struggle a lot to find things that they really like about themselves or just to even feel or remember what it is like to feel good and to feel confident in their bodies, in themselves, in their minds, all of those things. But I obviously know how this feels because growing up with a facial deformity, I definitely experienced some of that. And so I want to talk today or just kind of at least go through really quickly my top 10 things that I do kind of every day, which sounds really nutty, but I do. I try and do at least all of these every day to make sure that I feel good going into my day and feel great about myself. So without further ado, here are my top 10. Number one is every day I wake up and I tell myself three things that I like about myself. Now, that is, can be anything. So it can be like, I really like my left eyebrow. That isn't necessarily one that I say to myself, but if you really have a hard time thinking about things that you like about yourself, it can be anything. So for me, I really enjoy my hair. I wake up and I feel pretty good about my hair most days. Um, I am really happy with and feel grateful for my new voice and the surgery that I had that really helped me to feel that way. Um, and another thing I feel really happy and really grateful for about myself is that I love going to work every day and I love my job. So that's another one, but they change every day and I pick different ones. So I'm just showing you some examples of ones that maybe you could pick for yourself. Number two is when I walk, I really try and walk with my shoulders up, with my head up and my eyes facing forward. And that sounds kind of random, but there is science behind this. So if we kind of face our day and face things as they come and our posture is good, then usually we feel more, more confident and more present in our day. And for me, this is something that really helps me feel good about myself. It makes me feel present and it makes me feel like I'm alive and I'm there and I'm participating in my day. So that's my number two. Number three is that I often use the Superman stance. I at least use it one time a day. And now that I've said this, people are going to start noticing. But the Superman stance is basically this. So it's when you put your hands on your hips and you stand like Superman. So again, it kind of involves this posture with the head up and the eyes facing forward, but you're really facing things as they come. And there is, again, science behind that the Superman pose actually makes us feel more powerful. It also makes others think that we are more powerful and more present. And there is some science that the Superman pose and there's also a really great TED Talk on this too, which I will include the link to below. But there is also evidence that other people take us more seriously when we're in this stance and we take up a little bit more space. And so for me, as someone who really believes that, especially as females, we're kind of taught to shrink ourselves, I want to embrace this idea of taking up space and not being feeling bad about that when I'm talking or when I'm doing things and I'm kind of being really present and really taking up space and using my arms and being there in the moment when I'm talking to people and presenting things. My number four explains my shirt today just because I love it and also because every day I try and wear something or do something that is really different and that just makes me feel like me. So this might not be something that you wear. It might just even be a hairstyle. It might be 
a thing that you do every day that's different and unique, but for me, it's wearing something every day that kind of has my signature style. In doing this, I feel confident. I'm kind of embracing my quirky side because anyone who knows me knows that I do have a quirky side. And I'm just saying that I'm here, this is how I want to dress, and I don't really care what the rest of the world thinks about it. If they like it, that's great. If they don't, then that's okay too. But for me, it brings me confidence and happiness to wear something bright and fun, at least most days. And it's something that I try and do often, especially working with kids, because I think it makes me more approachable and seem more fun and confident as well. Number five is say hi or smile to someone that you don't know. So in my job, I meet new people most of the time, but I also try really hard to make eye contact, to smile at people and say hello to them if I'm walking or if I'm at the gym or at various different places. So I really like meeting new people and it makes me feel good to kind of bring someone a smile and know that I've given that to them in their day. If they don't smile back, that's okay. And if they do, then maybe that will start a conversation. Number six is go for a walk or a 30 minute workout or do something that involves just kind of being active sweating for like 30 minutes. That might even be cleaning your house or just shuffling around in your chair. But for me, it is usually exercise or some kind of walk. So I think that makes me just feel better about myself. It makes me feel like I'm connected to my body and it boosts my self-esteem. And I think it boosts a lot of people's self-esteem. I've done a lot of therapy to do with exercise and using therapy. And it, I found that people greatly improve when the two are combined because of the serotonin effects and just the endorphins that they're feeling and just really for them feeling that their brain and their body, their brain and their body are connected. Number seven, I don't do this every day, but I try. I feed my body nutritious foods. So if I at least if I don't feed myself nutritious foods all the time, I do take vitamins every day. And it makes a huge difference in just my immune function and how I feel about myself. So I advise that people do take vitamins and try and eat foods that are good for them. For me, I don't eat gluten at all because I am allergic to it. So that's something that I just wouldn't eat because it would make me feel bad and lethargic all the time. And I think also cause some kind of inflammation in my body, which links to depression, anxiety, all of those things. So for me, eating healthily and maintaining the machine that is my body is a really great way that I feel good about myself every day, or at least most days when I try to eat healthily, but it's hard. Number eight is ask people one thing that they love about you. Or if you're not comfortable asking people what they love about you, maybe you could just ask them something they like about you. So we're really used to kind of putting ourselves down and knowing what the negative things are people think about us. But if you're finding that you're not feeling great about yourself, a really good way to start feeling good about yourself is just to ask someone what's something that you really like about me or that is something that I bring to the table that you think is great? And it might be something you've never thought about or that you've never even noticed about yourself. So if you ask people something they like about you, you'll probably instantly feel better. One thing I get out of this, especially working with kids, is I get some of the greatest compliments like that I've never even thought of about myself. So it's a really refreshing opinion and I it makes me feel good. And so adults can do this too, but it can be it doesn't have to be asked in a kind of conceited way. It can just be like, is there something you like about me or is there something good about my work that is some feedback you have for me even if it's at work. You have to make it kind of situationally appropriate, but it's a great way like I say just to get that little boost that you might need. My number nine is take a bath. I 
really feel that bathing is a great meditative exercise. If you don't like bathing, that's okay. Maybe do like a five minute meditation or something just to relax yourself when you get home at night. Like it might be be burning an incense candle or doing something that's sensory and enjoyable for your body. I think it's a really great form of self-care and it's nice for us to take time just to pamper ourselves at least at some point in our day. And my last one that I do do every day is think about one thing that you're really thankful for today. Even if you had a bad day, try and think of something, whether it be the sun came out for a little bit today or I had a really good lunch. There must be something today that you're grateful for. Even if what you're grateful for is that you woke up healthy today or that you're not healthy today, but at least you're breathing and you were able to spend some time with your family today. There's so many things that could come out of that. And I think to do that practice every day is just so gratifying and it makes us feel really great. It reminds us of the things that we really love about ourselves. If you need some help with a gratitude journal, I do have templates and you can get them by signing up for my free ebook. They come in my email series, which I'll send to you. And I also send a lot of other free therapy tools and great tips to your inbox too. So definitely sign up there. The link is below and also on the screen here. So check that out if you have time. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I look forward to seeing you next week.